No, I sorry about that. Two of Pentacles in reverse and overall energy we have for you here from in reverse. Okay, Pisces. I think you refusing changes. You refusing taking, you know, situation how it is. You struggling to accept that these changes must be done. For some of you, it could be huge changes needs to be taken. Because I think, you know, with the two of pentacles in reverse, knight of wands in reverse, it's just an hierophant in reverse. I think all indicates that you know the changes needed. Or you, for some of you, I think you're struggling to see the truth or you don't want, refuse to see the truth. Uh, for some of you, do feel you might be involved with a fire sign, um, here is Leo Sagittarius or Taurus. They have hair fund. It's just, I don't know, Pisces, what's going on? Because there's so many messages could be, you know, and as a general reading, I don't want to, you know, to mention way too many because it's going to take way too long. But the thing, main message is you're refusing changes. You are refusing changes and you can have a 10 of cups. If you will do that, if you turn everything around, get that fire in the belly and fire up to reach up what you want. Go get the changes, do the changes, make the changes, anything. And finally, you know, trying to juggle situation correctly. That's what it's all about. You just need to turn around to see your ship, to see opportunities, the possibilities. But what you're doing now is just denial. Just denial, guys. Whatever your situation is in it, it needs to change. But you in denial. And look, you have 10 of cups just right there. Just underneath those changes. Some of you need to quit a job. Some of you need to leave relationships. Some of them need to move out. Some of them need to some kind of big drastic action, what I say. And you know that. And you know not for a very long time. But you just decided like, I don't know. I don't see anything. Everything is fine. I'm fine. Everything is going to be fine. 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 And now tell yourself how long you've been saying this to yourself. A day? Two? Week? Month? Years? For some of you, you do feel that those changes is needed to happen for very, very long time. Why are you refusing them? Why are you scared to reach out for what's, you know, why are you stopping yourself to be happy? We have moon, so this sees lies. We have heart and we have rank. So it does could talk about partnership, some kind of partnership uh, is based on lie. For some of you, do you feel that? Definitely. For others, you're not going to have a positive changes in any relationship. It could be work relation, partnership relation, business relationship, uh, family, love relationship. In any relationship, you won't get higher commitment understanding and possibility to move forward until you finally take that decision to make some changes. What changes? Don't know guys. Everyone is different and it's going to be many of you watching this video so I can't give you all but I think if you find this reading just resonates with you, you know, you know what kind of changes you need to do. Because you that indecision to don't do anything stopping you for getting look at this ten of cups you stop you stopping yourself why guys why don't you know <laughs> you might it looks like you li living in this kind of bubble. 
illusion that everything is going to be sort itself out, that everything is going to be still all right, that this we can go through, you know, it's still going to work out. No. If you want to turn the tower a pride and make a major changes to your situation, you are in it, and you're not really actually happy about it, no one else will do it for you guys. If you want this, if you want new beginning, commitment, new job, new possibilities, anything bigger, newer, greater than you have now, that's not going to happen until you're going to take a... Uh, start doing yourself, guys. No. Well, for those who are very happy with their life, they're very happy with the situation. They're more than happy. They started something fresh and new. I know it's not going to resonate with you. So please do check your moon or rising sign this week or check me out next week because those messages are was very important for those who's just pretending, you know, it's just like playing happy family, playing happy, I don't know, employer, playing happy, I don't know, friend or something. If something is not serving you, it's nothing is gonna change until you do, guys. Nothing. No, you, you, it's up to you. You can have this. You can have this. But if you won't do this, you won't get it. Okay, love life. Ace of Swords. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and overall energy is magician. So love life is amazing, guys. Amazing. Sounds great. So if you been flirting with someone, wishing to start having relationship, it's again, it's up to you to open up. And let them know that you like them, that you want something fresh and new. Because again, magician just talks about having all the tools and taking action. But Four of Pentacles talks about being closed off, you know, not open up, not willing to open up. But you have a solid start, what I can see. You have possibility of new commitment, new beginning, something new, newness in your life and you can have it if you just open up a little bit more on relationship side. If you want to take a new step, like if you're a long time relationship, you have been long time relationship, want to take a new step, um, something planned for the future or something, is there. Just need to Show the partner that you are ready, you know, that you're willing to do now or this kind of communication. Show them that you open to possibilities at least to happen this. But the magician card, I think is something magical for some of you might happen this week in a love relationship. Uh, some kind of surprises might be for some of you in store. So let's fulfill the Norman's card just to clarify a bit. And we have choices. We have a man. And we have an income. Okay, so definitely do you feel if you was indecisive about settling down or something, this definitely changing. And I think when I said someone might get surprised, Guys, I want surprise if you're gonna get be proposed. Especially if you're a woman or man dating a man. Because I see men coming into your life and staying here now for good or at least very, very long time. Maybe it took a time, maybe it wasn't sure what's gonna happen with them. And the normal, you know, in a tarot card deck, um, when we have a court cards, we can apply any, any gender because it's general. But in the normal, it's not. It's, it's a male uh, energy. So for the woman or man who's dating man, definitely I see bigger committer coming through. And as we have a heart here and we have a ring here, I wouldn't surprise if someone would propose to you. 
be getting close to Valentine's Day. And if it's not going to happen this upcoming week, it's definitely coming next week after. For those who, for male, and let's say, and if you're straight, you're dating a woman, I think it could be that you deciding to take a, some kind of, um, want to take some kind of maybe higher commitment with it. Because what you can see, as far as you can saw your partner, you know, or someone you're dating or you're interested in, is the person you would like to spend your time with. But I think you was keeping still yourself quite a, um, let's say, on a fence. Should they commit? Should they not? Maybe one of those guys, you know, like, mm, not sure, should I settle down yet? You know, I never did this before. I never moved in with someone before. You know, I never proposed to anyone. You know, um, it's definitely this kind of, you know, thoughts in your heart, like juggling situation, thinking about situation, what to do. And as I said, you know, it does resonate, you know, if you won't take a chance, if you won't do anything, you won't change the situation. So if you want to live life with someone together forever and ever, so make that step, make this change, propose, you know, if you're a woman and expecting as someone to propose to you and you want different this kind of thing definitely say yes and you you know it's just uh yeah it's just i think most of you are scared of changes scared of commitment not sure why because energies are coming towards you is amazing especially in love life Okay, and card from Whispers of Love, we have forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. So those who haven't, you know, had, we all had relations and we haven't worked out in the past for one another reason or stuff. So um, don't think that this time is going to be the same and, and just hold, don't let this hold you back. So let's see what the messages are saying for this card is. Being willing to forgive yourself and others opens the doors to opportunity of future growth. Love will be restored and trust can be rebuilt. Move from a place of bitterness back into your joy that you deserve in your life. Here you go, guys. Leave negativity behind. Cut everything off what is not serving. If it's not person, not certain job or something, Maybe you need to finally leave your past in a past when it, where it deserves to be. 